Hello everyone. In a little addition to my last tutorial, I'd like also to um, maybe show you how to actually display an object. I didn't prepare anything for that, so we do it as live, kind of. <laughs> um, what I need to do to display an object is actually to generate an object, of course, and we do this, we do not have a model package so far, I just um, put a little model in there, called it models, and I put a little Java class in it, just to show it. Um, we will call this, as in the other tutorials, maybe entry. Because it's not managed, I do not, I won't put anything in it, so everything what's in there will be um, maybe a public string, yeah, that's what we do. Public string add, maybe, and this is called come here. And the other thing we could do is add two, and we call it uh, and you. Okay, so we generated a little an entry. Um, we will need a little method for that to display it. So I'll do this like I did the other things. Um, salt display display object. You don't need any parameters here in that example. Um, we generate maybe an array list list entries type entry of course <clears throat> array list entry uh, <clears throat> Uh, we need the utility list, of course. We also need the entry. Okay, here we go. So we're producing an entry. I call it entry one. Maybe select new entry. And we also generate an entry two because we already have given some variables for the first one. So I don't have to do it here. It's just a simple array list with some stuff in it. Mm. So hat second. Not really that intuitive, what I did there before. <laughs> okay. And it's entry one. Okay. 
Mm. We need a new view, of course, as well. We will call it. Um, Um, render my array list. That's it. So we call a new file called Object Renderer. Let's call it. So we can have another look at the other ones, how we did it. <clears throat> So, of course, it's not a message. It's our list. We call it entries. And this is type array list. So, so add or entry entry entries entry Strange. <clears throat> we can do the same with the other one. <clears throat> of course, in the end, we have to declare the rule as well. Add root. So we do this by get example type. Controllers another controller. What was the name? One with it. Display object. No, definitely. Um. Of course, we have to say that. <laughs> Otherwise, it does not make sense. But this is how you can get lists or error lists out of, yeah, out of your application and display them. 
So this is just like a little um, addition to my tutorial before, so you can see to do it live and also how to do it with objects. So see you next time, really next time this time. So bye bye.